Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to part four of this Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play. Like I said, I am back after I went down and healed my Pokemon. So let us get going. Last time, if you remember, we did catch a Pikachu. Super exciting. So we'll be able to train a little bit of a Pikachu up here. So we've got some pretty good contenders uh, for a pretty good team. We want Metapod, I think, to get to level 10 or level 11 at least. So part of this will be just us uh, just fighting here uh, in the forest. And so the forest might be a couple of parts. We'll see, though. I want to keep you guys definitely entertained. So we will see what we end up doing here. As you can see, though, Metapod can take a beating. Especially against Pokemon that are like three levels under him, but still. Oh, I thought this guy was gonna battle us. It's true. You can never have uh, too many Pokeballs. These Weedles are kind of nasty. Dang! This happened last time. The very first shot poisoned him. It's kind of frustrating. Okay, we've got to switch him out. Normally I don't have this kind of issues with the... Uh... Okay, good. We've got shed skin. Normally I don't have these kind of issues against um, Pokemon once Caterpie evolves. I wonder... I don't want to check the stats, but... I wonder <laughs> if I've got a a weaker uh, Metapod. This one's going to be close. We did it. Okay, well, it's not worth going all the way back to heal him this time so we'll probably do just a little bit of switching out do some experience share here and there so this is what you do this is what we did back in the day is we would just switch out another Pokemon that we want to to have grow dang this Pikachu doesn't have the strongest defense but he's got plenty of good offense there. We took almost half of this Caterpie's HP. And looks like he's pretty fast too. Man, I love Pikachu design in this game. Um, it's kind of funny to see what he looks like in the original, uh, especially, I believe, blue version and red version. He's a very little fat uh, Pokemon. It's kind of funny. That guy right there, that is going to be the very first person we battle in this game. But we won't fight him yet. Okay. You know what we're going to do? I hate just giving all this experience to, to Charmander, but he's kind of our, our lead in this. And plus, he'll probably be able to one-shot this Weedle. There we go. Critical, super effective. Looks like next time we do that too, we'll be able to uh, give, or we'll be able to uh, grow a level for Charmander. Man, yeah, we are running into a ton of Weedle. Oh no, I didn't mean to scratch, dang it. Might as well just do it again. All 
at our leaders le level 11. I do like fighting Caterpie more than Weedle just because they're not as, um, they don't take as much damage. They don't damage as much, I should say. They like to use the string shot <coughs> to a fault. I apologize, still getting over this cold that I've been sick with for probably like freaking a week now. So apologize for that. This will probably be one of the few times you see me use Growl, but I'm just sick of taking a ton of damage. Haha, paralyzed. Great. So my very first playthrough of Blue Version, I don't think I knew that Pikachu was in the Viridian Forest, but I soon learned. Um, I think I went back and got Pikachu honestly before. Um, my my main starter I always went with was Blastoise. Uh, I think probably because it was Blue Version, but uh, you know with with Blastoise being on the cover. So Squirtle was always my favorite. I remember getting a. Um, we went on vacation and I got a Squirtle stuffed animal, and I still have it to this day. Squirtle is still my favorite Pokemon um, of the starters. But at the same time, there's just something about Charizard that's just way awesome. So, just like in this Let's Play, though, we went with Charmander. So, we'll see see how we do with him. Yep, that Caterpie in the string shot. I had no idea really what string shot was, and then I kind of like dawned on me one time when I was watching the anime, where I was like, oh, that's, it's like, a, it's like, it's like silk. It's, it's, you know, cover the enemy in it, and so it can't get away. It's almost like a, almost like a spider web type consistency. It's a very eye-opening moment for, for little me. Found a Pokeball. One thing that I did not do in this Let's Play, but I, I do whenever I replay this game, uh, when I go at my own pace, uh, is I will buy 10 Pokeballs at a time, just to get, um, for those that are aware, you will get a, a Premier Ball, which is just a white Pokeball. It offers no extra benefit, it's just a rare ball. And then what I'll do, so I'll get that, and then I will sell the Pokeballs back to the Mart. So, and I'll just keep on repeating until I run out of money. And I just do that because I love the design. I just love the white Pokeball. So, there's some trivia for you. Oh, sweet. Level up, level eight. But yeah, my trivia, though, is uh, my favorite Pokeball is the Premier Ball. Um, in the Pokemon X and Y games, I actually caught Mewtwo with a Premier Ball. And I was super excited for that. Um, and specifically, it was the Pokemon Y. I can't run yet. I don't have the running shoes, and I'm not sure if I already missed it or what. But, so I'm just going to walk slowly over. May as well get this while I am out. But there is a TM over here. Oh, it's the potion. Never mind. I thought that's is where Headbutt was, but I guess I'm wrong. I'm probably way off. It's been too long since uh, I've played these. Uh, I've played this generation. One thing that was way fun back in the day uh, when I had thought I beat Silver. Uh, Silver version. Actually, I think I had gold. I was borrowing gold from a friend. I had gold. I beat, you know, the Elite Four, and then all of a sudden we can take, is it the SS Aqua? And that would uh, take us into Kanto again, which that's this region. It was just super exciting that both regions were in the game, and then you could play uh, essentially the the champion um, who you play as in, in this game and, and red version, blue version, you get to play against him. 
um, at the very end. It's just, it was such a cool feeling. Great game. Um, I was actually thinking of, I mean, and I can't do it because I don't have the, dang it, man, he missed. I don't have the capture card for it, but I did want to play gold and silver or heart gold because I have, actually, I think I have soul silver now I think about it. No, it's heart gold. Jeez. He got a critical hit on him. Oh my gosh. This Rattata. See how Pikachu fares against him. This Rattata has some pretty good stats or something because it just wasted my Metapod. I really think I have a, a really bad Metapod. And it could be because I got... Um, I caught... Oh gosh, man! No, I just think actually this Rattata is way powerful. Jeez, I'm just getting decimated. Forty experience points to fight that Rattata, and there must have been something special. I wonder why it was so much better. Oh, he's gonna die. I mean, faint. Yeah, I'm gonna go down and have to level up our Metapod. Revive him. I'm glad that they don't charge you anything to revive your Pokemon, because uh, I do that a lot. Okay, back to Iridian Forest. For those of you who are not familiar with the first generation, you're probably wondering why I have not gone to the gym there. And that is because the door is locked, no one's home. There's no one at the gym, so we can't get that badge. All right, back in the forest. I went through a long stretch there without getting an encounter. Level 5 Caterpie, let's see if we can do it. I'm just going to harden first of all. Because I've had some bad experience lately. Now we can go. Just want to make sure that I can't I can't make my turn before them. So I have these keep on doing it. It's like okay, it's all, the effect has already run its course pretty much. Uh, there's nothing I can do to make me go first unless I use string shot back. Sweet. That was pretty good. 37. All right. So guys, I'm gonna stop it here. We're gonna call it this part, and then we will fight this trainer. In the next part so if you haven't already please uh subscribe that helps me out and it lets you know when i get new content out which should be every day you will see it maybe even twice a day depending on when you're watching this um also leave a like um, i thank you in advance for your comments i do love hearing from you um and and i love the positivity that's been been happening on this channel lately so anyway you guys stay tuned for the next episode and we will see you later